Okay, what we have here is a nice wine cellar with all custom cabinetry. And in the center of the wine cellar, we have this nice open space with this countertop. And what the customer wants to do here is have a hidden lift in the center of the back here so that he reveals his uh, prized uh, bottles of wine um, that's all hidden away. So we're using a Fergelli Automations column lift like this which simply just lifts up and down with a remote control. And we, the first thing we do is we have to make a, a hole in the custom cabinet top. So we mask it with this tape, we mark the square where we're gonna cut it out. And using a router, we just cut a nice hole to make it nice and square. We'll finish the inside as well, so it matches the uh, wood top. And then we build a, basically a drawer. Um, which is this piece here and this will fit inside the pocket and slide up and down with the help of one of these which is just going to push it up and down and when it's down it'll be flush with the top and you won't even know there's anything hidden below we'll have cabinet fronts at the bottom here so you wouldn't even know what's down there so what you want to do is make a box that's exactly the same size but with a false back so this is not the full depth of the box. What you do instead is you make a hole inside it here. And this is where the lift goes inside here. So when it's all installed, this will slide in here. This will sit on the bottom of the cabinet down there. And then with a the push of the button, it's simply just going to lift up and down this box. Okay, so now we have the inside of the hole completely finished and um, it's ready to uh, put on the actual box now. So what we've done is we've placed the, the uh, lifting mechanism inside the hole and it's free floating. I kind of like to keep them that way so that everything can move around and uh, not bind up in any way. And we'll slide the box on top of it and um, see if it works. Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken off the front cover so that you can now see the mechanism, the, uh, the, the drawer when it's fully down and you can see how this whole thing works and it's pretty simple. So we have these uh, spaces in here and they're designed to uh, stop the lift or stop the drawer when it comes down such that it's flush at the top of the uh, cabinet top. The actual lift will continue to keep dropping even though the, the drawer stops on these risers here. And that's okay because the lift is free floating, the mechanism is free floating and it can move around and it doesn't matter if the lift keeps going. And that way when we lift it up, it keeps uh, moving until it catches with the lift and then it keeps lifting until the lift which is the top of the stroke which just happens to be then when the top of this uh, piece here is then flush with the top of the cabinet. I'll show you, I'll run this a few times and you'll understand. So, we'll stop it there. And what you'll hear, I'm gonna drop it now. So the lift will stop of these risers, but you'll hear the lift will keep running down just a couple of inches. So it went on for a few extra inches. So the height of where we've put the lift, we modify that just with pieces of wood, we make that higher or lower to suit where we want both the drawer to stop when it's in the top position and down position, and also where the lift is. And uh, it's very simple. Here we can see the receiver for the radio frequency control. Uh, the control is in here too, and uh, there's the lift. So we'll just lift it up and down so you can see it working a little bit more. Here you can see the column lift doing its work, lifting it. And that's when it's at the top of its stroke now and it's now flush with the top of the cabinet top.
Okay, here it is. We've uh, installed the box, it slides on nicely, put some stuff around it, we have the remote control. Time to give it a go and see if it lifts nice and quietly. There we go, perfect. Doesn't wobble around, it's nice and smooth. We've put a nice big bottle of red wine in here. And we made it so that when the lift is fully lifted, it's flush with this uh, top here. And this can hold about 200 pounds of weight, which is great. Perfect.